Welcome back, Facebook and Instagram. We're cooking live at Crest today. Um, we're getting ready for the holidays, guys. So I don't know about you, but in my family, cooking's a competition. If you're gonna throw down, you better bring your A game because we're all a bunch of foodies. All my friends are foodies, family foodies. So for me, it's a competition of who can make the best dish and how long is it gonna be presentable as it sits there waiting for everyone to eat. Hey, what are we doing today? We're getting crazy! <laughs> that's uh, that's my, my boy Kevin over there. We're good, look at that, now we're mobile. Instagram's mobile. We got uh, my uh, lovely cameraman over here egging me on to get crazy. Um, like I was saying, so this is a great dish you can make it, set it out. It'll stand the test of time. It's a nice hearty salad with some beautiful boiled shrimp. Uh, can't have holiday without a nice warm loaf of bread. We got some wonderful pickled red bell peppers, fennel. We got all these fun quats. We got a lime quat right there. Uh huh. We got a Clement quat right there. Uh huh. A little Clement quat and a kumquat. Boom. Nice citrus there. We got some beautiful toasted pine nuts, garlic, Kobe, Wagyu, bake, beef bacon, because why not? Uh, lime juice, olive oil, and kale. This is the secret to a good kale. Okay. So we're just going to pull it off the stock. This is garbage. Throw that away. Right. You don't want to eat that. Kale can be really dense and tough, guys. So the secret is to give it a nice jiu-jitsu massage, maybe a full body massage. So we're gonna roll it up. Just give it a nice little choppy chop. All right. Now to give it a massage, you know, just like the gift card you get your wife, because she always wants the massage gift card, whether she says so or not. You give a little lemon juice. Right? And then a little salt. And I don't have my suit, I don't have my chef buddy bro here today. So I gotta do the massaging myself. Put on a nice pair of gloves because this is a finished product. It won't be cooked anymore. So you wanna make sure that you uh, glove up and just give it a nice massage. Just really work it, right? Work it. See that last going? Now you can do this 30 minutes before you want to serve your salad and want to just kind of hang out in there and marinate before the uh, the show. We're just going to go ahead and call it quits. See how that already lost some of its volume? What you're doing is tenderizing it. That salt and lime acts like a cooking agent, kind of like ceviche. It's the vegan ceviche. Oh, I just made that up. That was awesome. Look at that guys, vegan ceviche, okay? Kale, lime, and salt. You're welcome, vegans. That one's free, okay? All right, so as that's sitting there marinating, right? We're gonna add some of our beautiful ingredients. We're gonna add, oh yeah, let's do uh, fennel. I love fennel, this is right out of the Crest Garden, guys. You don't believe me? Come on down, take a look. We're going crazy things outside. We're getting crazy. We're just gonna throw, sprinkle that fennel in. Let's just go all of it right there. Oh yeah. Um, and then we're gonna throw in our uh, bacon. Ooh, look at that. We're gonna save some for garnish, okay guys? Uh, we're gonna throw a little Parmesan cheese in there. Cause why not? And a ton of pine nuts. Just a heaping load of pine nuts. I love pine nuts. In uh, Christmas dishes, they add a great texture and crunch and flavor. Um, I like to toast them while I'm toasting them. Right as soon as they start to get about this color toast, hit the pan with uh, fresh lime juice and salt. Man, it's just, that's how the French do it. And I tell, let me tell you, they got it going on. I'm gonna take our pickled red bell peppers. Now for this pickle, all I did was 50-50 
red wine vinegar and water, a little salt, a little more sugar than salt, about a two to one ratio. And I just did these this morning when I got here at eight o'clock. So it doesn't take long. Those are real pretty, real, real pretty. Now you can save that pickle and juice and add that to your Bloody Mary, huh? You like that? Another free tip there. Delicious stuff. All right, we're just gonna give that a nice little toss. It's looking so good. It's Christmassy, right? Kinda looks like a wreath. Guess what we're making? A Christmas wreath. Christmas wreath salad. This is a pretty cool salad. It's really pretty and it's festive, right? It looks like a little holly laced with Christmas lights and bear and the little holly berries. Mm, amazing. So we're gonna let that marinate and hang out. Now we're gonna make our salad dressing. This is a Parmesan lemon dressing. Phenomenal Parmesan lemon dressing. We're gonna take a ton of garlic, because why not, right? Just really throw that garlic in there. All of it, don't be shy. Uh, and then we're gonna take some lemon juice. Let that sit in there like that. And we're gonna take a nice little dash of salt. Now what this is doing, this is kind of pulling the intensity of that fresh garlic out. It's kind of, you know, kind of the same thing we did with the kale. Cooks it a little bit, just kind of makes it a little uh, less potent. So, you know, normally you sit this 15 minutes on the side, let that lemon juice just kind of work out some of those uh, really pungent oils in the, uh, the, the fresh garlic. And we're going to take about a cup of, well, maybe a little more of your favorite delicious oh we got people uh olive oil texas olive oil from pariso springs my favorite stuff you've heard me talk about it before on here you just want to give that a little stir up looking good yes see that oh yeah uh oh and then parmesan guys just a ton of it Cheese is delicious. And this goes so good as a dipping sauce. That's why we're putting shrimp on the salad. To take it from vegan to delicious. All right, let's bring back our salad and let's just give this salad just a little bit of that oil to help really lubricate that lettuce up. And we're gonna take the rest of it and put it right here in our dish. Oh yeah. Look at that. Man, how good am I? That came out to the perfect amount. That's gonna go dead center on our plate there. Now we're gonna to give this another toss. So guys, I know if you tuned if you tuned in last week, we were talking about our Christmas dinner. Okay? Sold about 30, the goal is 100. I'm counting on you guys out there in digital world to uh, step up your game and shoot me an email, hstuart at vtag.com. And let's get your Christmas order together, guys. 90 bucks, that's right, $90 for two people. As your cover count goes up, your cost per person goes down. Pretty genius idea there. So, two people, $90, four people, it's, it ends up being $40 a person and so on and so on all the way up to eight people get you a filet a six ounce filet smoked to, uh, Per person a four ounce beautiful butter poached lobster tail Mashed potatoes with roast garlic and chives asparagus with a red bell pepper coolie sauce uh, the some of this beautiful wagyu bacon and some pickled uh, caramelized shallots never had pickled and then caramelized shallots it's crazy the sugar and the vinegar just makes it tart and sweet and blows your mind especially with asparagus uh, choice of dessert homemade bread pudding bananas foster style awesome it's like 
I've had so many people email me just wanting to buy a pan of that. And I told them, you got to wait until next week and I can see where I'm at, how much I got to make. Awesome cheesecakes made fresh from scratch. Uh, and then you're going to get those dang pot stickers that were just out of this world that we made last week on the show. Two per person. More if you want. Hit me up. Email. Message me on the Insta Instagram or Facebook. Just leave a comment and I'll reach out to you after the show. How fun would that be? You show up to your family thanks uh, Christmas and you're done. You show up and you just throw some steaks down, some lobster, and just blow their minds. You be the hero. All right, guys. We're going to take this and we're going to assemble our salad. Yes. So we're just going to take nice light handfuls of this and just kind of stack it around like a reef, right? Look at this. This is going to be so pretty. Look at this, guys. This is such a beautiful salad. You can set this out. You know, this is a much more sturdy uh, lettuce than if you did arugula or romaine that would be wilted after the first 30 minutes of sitting on the table. This one you can come back for seconds and it'll be good as it was the first time you had it. So how's that? Look at all that guys. We got all these beautiful garnishes in here. Just stacking it up. The bell pepper and the looks like little Christmas lights strung through a beautiful reef. Look at that guys. Amazing. And then we're going to take our shrimp. We did these shrimp in a beautiful court bouillon. All that means is fancy term for seasoned water, right? A little lemon, a little blackening seasoning, or Montreal seasoning, whatever you like. We're just gonna kind of lay these out. Look at that. I'm feeling like Christmas. Wow, that looks good. Dang, it looks good, right? This is gonna be pretty sensational. We're gonna sprinkle that with a little bit of bacon. Because, oh, who doesn't love bacon? Funny story, back in my early days, my nickname was Bacon Boy. I had an article written about me back in, uh, man, when was that? 2001 by the um, D Magazine. And the lady who wrote the article called me Bacon Boy because I love bacon. She was commenting on how, like, every dish almost on my uh, menu at uh, my favorite restaurants was uh, laced with bacon. So, pretty fun. And then we're gonna take our beautiful quats and we're just gonna throw these on there because this citrus, and you eat the whole thing on these guys, okay? Don't worry about peeling them, right? Don't worry about the seeds. You just wanna pop them out. It's not gonna kill you if you get them in there. Maybe choke a little bit. Grandma doesn't need to choke on Christmas, so just be careful, right? Maybe get a sharper knife. Kitchen knives are hard to keep sharp sometimes. Let's try serrated. That might be, oh yeah, much better. Look at that, guys. We're just going to slice these up. Our beautiful quats here. Oh, this orange one looks amazing. This is just our final garnish. Oh no, we gotta make the bow. The best part is the bow, guys. This will really blow people away with your amazing skills. Just throw some of this quats on there, right? Make it look like a beautiful Christmas reef. Nice centerpiece for the table. Something really fantastic. Just some nice tart, sweet, tangy. Delicious, all the best things. All right, so when we pickled our uh, peppers, we left two of them, or one whole pepper, right? One whole pepper, de seeded, de stemmed, and threw it in the pickling brine. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut that like that, right? And we're gonna do another one with this piece. This is gonna be our bow if I remember how to do this. And then we're gonna take some strips here and just cut a nice little bias. 
Look at this, guys. I'm out in arts and crafts winning right here. Look at that. And we put this on right in the center piece. Pick some place where we don't have too much shrimp. Maybe move those shrimp out of the way. So, uh, or hide them. You can even hide them. That way you come back for seconds, there's still shrimp. Because shrimp's always the first thing to go at a holiday party. Look at that, guys. How does this bow thing work? <laughs> Kevin's over here cracking up. <laughs> That's what happens when you're crazy. <laughs> Getting wild and crazy, guys. All right, so. Clean up a little bit so I can show you guys how cool this looks. Oh, we forgot the bread. We got the bread on there. Nothing says holidays like warm bread. I was, uh, we're having a bread off in my family. I don't want to get too much in the details, but I killed my sourdough starter on accident. Tough when you, uh, working every day. Uh, brother and sister are both doing the same thing in their respective states. And, uh, I'm all for the proof box and the electric mixer. Mix it all up, make it easy, clean, consistent every time. And they're fighting me, telling me that I'm cheating. But uh, anyways, it's a fun story. It's fun to, you know, have a little rivalry in your family. I said, like I said, we uh, we like to throw down on uh, holiday time when we all get together. Maybe next year we'll have a uh, live bread cooking competition. Look at that, guys. Oh, yeah. Had my bow. I mean, my, the bow came out pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. You can dip your bread in that cheese and oil and lemon juice. You dip your shrimp in there. Mm. That Texas olive oil is outstanding. I think that's it, guys. Um, so next week we'll be back Christmas, maybe not Christmas, maybe Christmas Eve. If you bought your, uh, your Christmas dinner, we're going to do a live reheat where I show you how to heat up all the ingredients that I sent you, how to cook your steak, how to make your pot stickers just like I did, how to make sure you don't overcook your lobster, all the sides, talk about garnishing the dessert and plating it up and just wowing your family um so please comment i'll hit you up let's get you a steak and lobster christmas please let's make a hundred i'm true to my promise if we hit a hundred orders i will donate half of the proceeds to a charity um and we'll, we'll have a live vote on what charity we want to do that for next week thanks for tuning in Cooking at Cress. Love you guys. Merry Christmas. See you next week.